Yes, I do. You do? Is that just because we're here and it's so dark? Yeah, it's a spooky <laughs> place for it. It is, it is, uh, especially if you believe all the rumours. But hopefully that won't worry us. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to try a little demonstration of voodoo. So we're not going to try a, a, a human um, victim, health right. and safety and all that kind of stuff. Thankfully. So yeah, so we're going to use uh, just a little dude here, my beautiful artwork. There we go. He's going to be our sort of substitute victim. Uh, we'll come back to him hopefully later on. And then uh, you get to think of someone that you wouldn't mind steering some bad mojo towards. Just their first name is absolutely fine. All We're right. not going to reveal who it is. So it can be someone here, if you like, or someone who might be watching. They'll never find out. And what I'm going to do is give you a piece of paper here. Uh, just a little scrap of paper like that would be fine. And you can write their first name on that paper and then screw it up into a tight little ball as well. That'll be perfect. Excellent. And then in here, because if you carry a voodoo doll and the pins around, you get some pretty weird looks, as you can imagine. So I found these. These are from a card game. Uh, these are little cards with pictures of voodoo dolls with pins yeah. in. Uh, they, look, they look better than your old man. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're more artistic. Yeah, that's true. I can just set that down on the table. That's great. Yeah, top man. Um, and the idea is that these all have uh, nails in different places. You've got the one in the foot there. That would be a yeah. bit of a flesh wound. Uh, that's a, that's pretty pretty severe. That one. You'd wish you were dead. That, yeah. one. <laughs> that was you. Uh, there's the other foot there. There's the hand. There's the head. That would be that, a bit of a killer. Be bad. Uh, you get the idea. It's basically a bunch of cards with pins in different places. So what we're going to do is, uh, we, we can we use the first name of your victim? Yep, that's yep. fine. Okay, you, the names are quite important in Voodoo, so we're going to spell the name of your victim, which will take us to a card at random, and that's the injury we're going to aim for. Okay. So what was the first name? Kane. Kane. Okay, yeah. excellent. So K-A-N-E. Was that the right spelling? Yep, that's yep. good. Excellent. Okay, so we've spelled out Kane. We use the card on the last letter there. Now, obviously, if you'd chosen someone different, we'd have got a different result if they'd had a different um, amount of letters in their name. So, for example, we could have ended up with just what would probably have been a stubbed toe or a, or a hand injury there. Yeah. But let's see what you're, what you're aiming for here. You're not taking Oof. any prisoners, no, that's, that's uh, full on. Are you happy to see that or are you a bit that's worried That's all right now? for Kane, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's no more than he's deserved. Um, okay, so for the voodoo ritual to work, we just need one more thing, and we need fire. You can't possibly have a voodoo ritual without a bit of fire. No. So, here goes Kane. Now, if that worked, check out the little uh, surrogate victim we have there. Just flip him over on the table. And yes, a oh, mysterious yeah. burn has appeared in exactly the same place. So I hope that went as you expected. Yeah. And um, Kane hopes it didn't. Yeah, well, I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> someone at work. <laughs> and that is voodoo.